And Lee Mack. What's that you got next to you, Lee Mack? You know what it is, it's a humidor, baby. Well, who made this one, Lee Mack? Man, you know I can't pronounce it, but I think it's Mojgar, M-O-J-G-A-R, Mogar. I don't know, M-O-J-G-A-R. It's a 26 liter, 200 count electronic humidor. We're gonna look at it in a second, y'all hang on. trouble recently but I think I'm out of trouble now and I'm gonna try to keep myself out of trouble I'm gonna tell you that you have this box that I'm gonna present that can hold 200 of your finest gifts how is that but that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take a look at it this is when they say they've got an innovative design and it's very similar to a lot of them but what they say they did was they improved the bottom space We've got rapid cooling adopting, they've said they've got semiconductor technology, effectively maintain circulation, remain, provides a, remain, provides, provides a stable cooling environment for even smarter storage. It works without any vibration because when you plug this in, it's very quiet, it's very smooth, you just hear a little fan blowing. That's about it, it's energy efficient. Uh, temperature can be set anywhere from 61 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, just as a notice, this product only cools down. It doesn't warm, so it's not one of the units that has heat and cooling. It's only got cooling on it. Uh, the door is sealed with a thickened sealing strip. So it's like those, right over here, it's like those refrigerator strips. Close, just like a refrigerator. It's got the magnet in it. Gives it a nice tight seal keeps the humidity on the inside. It's got double layer glass here in the front, mirror glass. This also protects against UV rays. So that mirror finish on there protects against the UV rays. Uh, this can be placed in a living room, study, bedroom, wine cellar, blah, 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 blah. Perfect gift for a man or a lady. So let me just tell you all about this, right? It is a good gift. Sometimes these things come in different sizes, so we're going to take a look at the size. I'm going to measure it up for you. I'm going to show you the size all the way around. Also, in a subsequent video, I'm going to take a look at some desktop humidors, which are right next door here as well, and uh, show you what we can do with this unit. This is a pretty small unit. Sometimes you don't want something so big. Uh, and again, with this one, you're going to have to open the door all the way out. Hold on, slide this over. You're going to have to open this all the way out to get the full access to your shelves and your boxes. I met a brother the other day who said, hey, listen, man, I only got about 10 or 15 cigars. I said, yeah, whatever size cigar humidor you buy is going to be too small. So I would encourage you to get the biggest one that you can afford and have space for it. So if you're looking at a 50 count humidor, I would say take a look at this 200 for 200. And we're going to talk about the price and all that other good stuff. So y'all hang on. All right, family, let's take a look at this. Let's look at the size. I pulled out my handy dandy measuring tape. That's like uh, 10 inches wide. It is about 19 and a quarter inches deep and about 17 and a quarter high. Let me say the depth may be a little bit deeper than I said there. I'm going to say maybe about 20 inches deep because it does have a little bevel on the back. All right. So now let's look at the size. Let's look at the size. I told you it was a relatively smaller humidor, but again, the shelves come out. It comes with your little water doohickey here. This is for when you first get the humidor, you put this in there with some distilled water, close the door, and let it sit for a few days. That's it. It does also come with this. Let me show you this. Uh, 
And this is not something that I would use, but that's what some people do. Pull out my handy dandy pocket knife. Shout out to my brother Randall. Hey Randall, I still got my pocket knife pretty sharp there, brother. Ah, right there. Anyway, this is the little pump that has the foam in it. And it's got a little, uh, a little, uh, here, let me come a little closer and show y'all. This is the little puck here that has the foam in it. And then you have a little squeegee funnel here. A little too close. So basically you could squeeze it and dip it, squeeze it and dip it, squeeze and dip it. I say, go get you some Boveda packs, sit it in there, shut the door and be done with it. Even for the seasoning, they have a seasoning Boveda pack that you can just stick in there and call it a day. All right. So let's take a look. Let's look take a look at what we can put in here. Put in here. This this is a, this drawer is a, a little small drawer. Again, it's a small humid door. It's a small door. Uh, I've got some of my cigars here. I've got another great day. Another great day, Chicharroni. Bang, bang, and we're gonna be able to, can we sit them in there? So this is just gonna fit the size of a Toro right across there, so let's uh, let's stack up some Toros in here. And we got some Robustos. I got some, uh, another great day, little bits, we're gonna put in there too. Bang, 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 bang. I got some colors. I got a cigar from my brother Paul. Shout out to your brother Paul. Oh, blonde ambition from my boy Lou Liga. Put that in there as well. So let's see. I'm gonna tell you what we can get in here. And this is just stacking going all the way across here. This is just what I had in a bag here. So we could probably get three rows of cigars in here. Let me see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So 14 times three is what, 42? I think that's 42. So that's 42 cigars. There's almost 50 cigars in that drawer right there. So that's not that bad. So I'll put that in the drawer, I'll put that in here. And I think I can put this in a different spot. All right, I'll put it up top. So now what's nice about this is I can either stick my my boxes in here, right? Or I can stack up the cigars on the shelves. They have a little lip right here to stack the cigars on the shelf. Now, as you'll see, this Bolivar box, bang, it goes in here very nice. It's deep. That's cool. Shout out to my brother Ed Reed. Beautiful box. But Ed Reed ain't gonna fit in there because the hinges are stopping it. So let's see. We had a uh, box of hammer and sickle. That was a deep box. That fits in there very nice. How about the Oscar? Shout out to my man Oscar Valadares, the McFly. And that's gonna be a negative Ghost Rider. A negative Ghost Rider. So what we will have to do with this smaller type humidor like this is get either some other boxes that fit that I can sit on here. I usually go to the dollar store, uh, get some plastic bins and stick them in there, put some Boveda packs in there, and it's good to go. Now this unit is rated for 200 cigars. You see, I very easily got about 40 some cigars up here uh, on the shelf. So if I had 40, 40, 40, 40, uh, 40, 81, 21, 60, I could probably easily, I could really rack and stack probably 150, 200 cigars in this unit. Uh, very nice unit, it's small, it's compact, it's quiet. This is something that I could stick under my desk uh, if I needed to, if I needed to put it out and showcase it someplace. It's a very nice looking unit with the mirrored finish on the front. It does have an analog hygrometer though, so I would tell you to get you a digital and put in there and replace the analog hygrometer. Two cedar shells. Again, not necessarily the highest quality sheet of cedar shells, cedar shells, cedar shells, but let's take a look at the price of this thing. It has a light and the temperature. That's the only thing that you can adjust and you can change it, the temperature from, I believe Celsius to Fahrenheit. But there you go. 
So I know, here's what y'all want to know, Lee Mac 912, how much Lee Mac 912, how much? All right, let me tell you. All right, let me correct my math here, because I said 13 times 4 was 42, but 13 times 4 is 52. So you can get 50, 50, 50, 50 times 4. Easily you can get 200, I would say, in here. Now this unit is available on Amazon. There'll be a link down in my description. There is going to be a price, and sometimes there's sales on it, sometimes there are not. It's $179.99. Currently, there's a $20 coupon there, which brings it down to $159 something. And there will be a code in my description down below, as long as I don't get me in trouble. I sure hope not. Anyway, there's going to be a code down in my thing for 5% off, so it brings it down to about $150. $151, something like that. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, Demonsker, humidor, 26 liter, 200 unit. It's another good unit. Hey, if you're interested, I say go over there and check it out. Lee Mac 912, today is another great day. You know what I tell you all the time when you wake up in the morning, you gotta say to yourself, today is gonna be another great day. Why? Because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the truth and the lie. So you might as well tell it a good dog on lie. That's what you might as well do. It believes you and when you have problems and you run into those problems, your subconscious mind will tell you, hey, it's a great day. So that's what I do every day. Anyway, thanks to the great folks over at Monsker for sending over this unit for review. Stay tuned for the uh, review of the desktop units. I'll let you take a look at that. Maybe this is too big. You just got a few cigars. I got something for you there as well. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.